Hello friends, in this video we are going to study how boundary layer actually develops around a rigid body surface. So let's start the video. Boundary layer is a surface in which high changes in relative velocities are occurred. Hence, in this case, we have seen that there are various zones such as laminar zone, transitional zone and turbulent zone. So, boundary layer starts at this point, we will call this point A point as starting point and edge, this edge as leading edge. So boundary layer starts at leading edge and its thickness increases here we have considered this reference axis as y axis and this starting point a as origin and this axis as x so as value of x increases the thickness of boundary layer means this red colored thickness part is increasing continuously as in figure so thickness increased with respect to distance x. So at x equal to 0, thickness is 0 and it is increasing continuously with respect to increase in the x. We have also seen that in starting zone where Reynolds number is very less, this nature of curve is parabolic. So this is the parabolic curve which is drawn. Up to short distance there exists a transitional zone in which laminar to turbulent changes in the flow are occurred. So this is the zone called as transitional zone and further Reynolds number increases a certain value here it is 4 into 10 to 6 but limiting value is 5 into 10 to 5 it is it lies something here so after this zone actual turbulent zone starts so this profile is logarithmic in which these lines indicate turbulences in the boundary layer we have seen that due to entry of mass then entry from the external surface to the boundary layer increases the thickness so this is the reason so most important changes x place adds Thickness increases and this process is called as development of boundary layer. So called as boundary layer. Boundary layer. If I want to talk about this y distance with respect to depth that is delta and velocity u where actual u is denoted by symbol capital U this is called as local velocity. So boundary layer begins at the edge so this is origin this is value 0 and as velocity increases initially velocity profile is parabolic 
so if i plot a graph y upon delta versus u upon capital u then in that case i will get a curve this curve which is parabolic in nature further when thickness is increased thickness of boundary layer when increases flow becomes turbulent and velocity profile becomes logarithmic so this is logarithmic curve in which we can clearly see that in case of turbulent cases profile becomes logarithmic so there exist a length in which flow actually changes so this is the length in which flow actually changing from laminar to turbulent so this zone is called as transitional zone so short length over which nature of flow changes from laminar to turbulent is called transition zone now let us see what are the factors affecting growth of boundary layer factors affecting the growth of boundary layer are first factor the distance x from the leading edge here i am drawing a boundary layer these are the three zones this is first zone which is laminar second zone transitional and third zone turbulent and in third zone there exist a laminar sub layer so the growth of boundary layer mainly depends on first factor that is x this x is nothing but the distance measured from this point a this distance is x so i can note it here as x increases boundary layer increases okay it is directly proportional in reynolds number formula we have also seen that re is equal to rho v l upon mu so reynolds number is directly proportional with l that is length that is length which should be considered is nothing but the x so as x increases reynolds number increases hence boundary layer also increases secondly free stream velocity here in boundary layer we have shown velocity with a letter u which was in this direction so logically we can say that if u that is velocity which is crossing across the plate is increased then it will tend to reduce the thickness of boundary layer so it is inversely proportional so if u increase boundary layer decreases next is viscosity of fluid renold number formula contains various terms such as rho which is density v which is velocity l is characteristic length upon mu mu is the dynamic viscosity so these are the factors on which boundary layer actually depends 
actually boundary layer depends on Reynolds number and Reynolds number depends on four factors. So third factor is viscosity of fluid. If viscosity that is nu increases boundary layer increases and next is density of fluid if density is increased boundary layer decreases so this relation is also inverse one we have seen that in this boundary layer this zone from a to b is called as a laminar boundary layer from b to c called as transitional boundary layer and from c onwards it is called as turbulent boundary layer so we will see characteristic of each boundary layer one by one in next videos that's all thank you